we've talked a lot about how this team fights and, yeah. until the end. When Marvin hits the two-run shot and Judge is going up to face Poche, who he has great numbers uh, against, are you thinking this is another one of those nights? Well, I mean, I mean, the way the game was going and obviously being down and chasing there, you know, to to be to get him up to to the play with as the time run. I mean. That's certainly the hope going into that inning. Hopefully, you get to that point. We got that opportunity. Thought Aaron got off a great swing on him and, and just missed tying it. Aaron, uh, is Clark Schmidt okay? Yeah, Clark's good. Yeah, I was just kind of wanting to keep him in play for the next couple of days, too. Uh, yeah. Did you know about uh, Kid Freeze coming into the game? Did I know about what? Isaac. Isaac Burns. Yeah. What did I know? Yeah, I mean, in terms of looking, I think it's seven career home runs coming into tonight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's you know he's hit those homers since he, since he's got over here. So we know he's a talented player, and um, you know I, I know you know Tampa went and gave up Meadows to go get him. You know, so you know he's obviously been playing a lot for him. Gives him some versatility, and and you know obviously he's got that power. About the way Tampa Bay was timing up on Nestor's cutter, was that more of just the command and maybe pulling it? Yeah, I, f I feel like there was a little bit of a command issue and, and probably a game plan where they sold out to some certain things. Um, but I just don't think he was as sharp with his command We've and maybe not quite as crisp with his stuff tonight. We talked about the workload for Nestor. Uh -huh. you know, do, you, do you have to keep a closer eye on that than you would a normal you know pitcher who's has? Pitching as well as he is, he hasn't pitched this much. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that comes into play a little bit today, where you know he's struggling to find it a little bit, and it's like I'm not just gonna just push him through and have him navigate a, a heavy outing like that. Um, but but no, I, I think Nestor's in a good place to where, you know, we're certainly mindful of it, but at the same time, like he's going out and doing what he does, he's he's gonna routinely get us through those middle innings. Aaron, given your position and the standings, do you look at this as just a bump in the road? Well, it's a loss. I mean, <laughs> we'll probably lose again um, at some point. So, I mean, you know, and anytime you give yourself a chance, you know, you, <clears throat> you want to push through, but it doesn't always happen. So, um, you know, we'll chew on this one and get ready to try and go win a series tomorrow. Aaron, you, you guys have not lost back-to-back -back games since the end of May, which is obviously pretty impressive. What does that say about your team, just this kind of bounce back? Yeah, I mean, a lot. We're, we're, we think we're a really good team, and uh, I think we've shown that so far. Um, I've talked about with that group. It's a hungry group. It's a focused group. It's, And they'll come in with a little edge tomorrow, I'm sure, ready to try and, to try and win a series. And, you know, We'll kind of flush this one with that in mind. Mm -hmm.